line. You just sit there and watch your wrestling program while our whole world goes crashing down the drain. Now, what do you want? <laughs> Said I'd be out here in a minute now. Just calm down. I want some dad going. Holy shit. <laughs> I told you it was important. And don't use bad words. Holy shit. Why do you stop saying that? Well, what the hell happened? <laughs> Mr. Lattimore's idiot son is what happened. Oh, Larry Dale, I should have known. Well, what the hell got into him? And why'd you take it out on our shrubbery? <laughs> well, apparently. He and Mr. Lattimore just got back from Disney World. You know, the one in Florida? Well, Larry Dale saw all those bushes all trimmed up to look like Mickey Mouse and Goofy. <laughs> so he decided to try it himself when he got back home. That don't work with red tips. <laughs> well, you know that, and I know that, and anybody with half a brain knows that. But we are talking about Larry Dale Lattimore. That boy ain't never been right. <laughs> I don't know why they leave him alone with a pair of hedge livers. Well, I got a call into Mr. Lattimore. There ain't nothing you can do about it now. Those things were planted long before we ever moved in here, and it took a long time for them to fill out so you couldn't see the highway anymore. Yeah, ain't much to it anymore, is it? God, I heard it was bad, but I didn't know what was this bad. Can you believe it? Hey, Betsy. Lord God, I haven't seen such destruction since the tornado hit the Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely ruined our lot. It's a mess is what it is. You know, there's just one thing I don't get. What? Well, never mind if not important. Go ahead, Betsy, say it. Well, I was just wondering, uh, which one is it supposed to be Mickey Mouse? <laughs> oh my God, Betsy, our whole world's going down the drain. You're worried about which one is a stupid mouse. I didn't want to say it, but you made me. I need another beer. <laughs> You think maybe that one over there is goofy? Would you stop it? <laughs> Sorry. That's the last thing I need right now. You and Dwayne having problems again? No. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> what is it that's wrong? Just <coughs> everything. Well, that's a pretty big list. Maybe I better sit down. You want to talk about it? Well, that's the stupidest part of all. There ain't nothing to talk about. So everything in the world is wrong, but there ain't nothing to talk about. Yeah, that's just about it. Got any iced tea? I think this one might take a while. Yeah, there's some in there. And those glasses are clean. I just put them out this morning. You want some? I guess. Hey, how come Dwayne don't keep his beer in there? He's afraid somebody will steal it. <laughs> Keeps all the important stuff in the one in the trailer. What kind of important stuff? Beer. And? <laughs> just beer. <laughs> I think we may have hit on your problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just a wine, it's, it's everything. You keep saying that and I have no idea what you're talking about. This morning when I woke up, every single thing annoyed me. Open a box of Tide and the smell of it just made me want to scream. I just want to take a knife to just step into that box of detergent until it all poured out all over the floor. Why didn't you? Because I'd be the one to have to clean it up. <laughs> you know, I think we've passed my realm of expertise here. If you've got husband trouble, I can help. When you start talking about murder and boxes of detergent, I think it's time to call in the professionals. <laughs> I just think there ought to be more, that's all. More to what? To this, me, you, Dwayne, everything. You know, a lot of people would say you've got it pretty good. Well, a lot of people don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Get me out of here. I've known you all my life. That's only about the third time I've ever heard you use that word. Other two times were no picnic, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm just frustrated, Betsy. Just think there ought to be more to life than living in the nicest trailer parked in town. <laughs> you know, I don't even think it's the nicest one in town anymore. Which one is? The Palace Estates. The Palace Estates? That's just Bill's Trailer Park with a different name. It was a dump when it was Bill's Trailer Park, and it's a dump now that it's the Palace Estates. They fixed it up a lot. They put a big brick sign out front with a cement line on each side of the driveway. Other than that, it's still just Bill's Trailer Park. They fixed it up inside, too. No, they haven't. Somebody told me they had. Who told you that? I don't know. I think it was Shirley Hammett. Shirley Hammett lives there. Of course she's going to say they fixed it up. 
You know, I bet she's just loving the fact that she gets to tell people she lives in a place called mm -hmm. La Paz Estates. <laughs> Bell's trailer park. That's all it ever was. That's all it's ever going to be. What the hell is wrong with you? You act like I shot your dog or something. <laughs> just because I happen to mention that the palace of space was nice. You and Dwayne been fighting again, haven't you? No. Dwayne's the same as he's always been. At least I think he is. He don't talk much anymore. No, he never was much of a talker. Talk to me? He always talked to me. I'm sure it's just a phase he's going through. <laughs> Betsy, do you still enjoy it? Enjoy what? <laughs> you know, it. <laughs> Doing it? Oh. Well, you see, how do I put this? Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, so do I. I mean, when it happens, if it happens, it never happens anymore. Never? Almost never. Do you try? I try. I try everything. You know, there was a time when he couldn't keep his hands off me. Now I know that things can't be like that all the time, but he's just not attracted to me at all anymore. I think he's attracted to anybody. All he ever does is sit in front of that TV. Oh yeah, I know about that. You know, I think my husband's dream woman would have an antenna coming out of her head and a television set in her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a teletubby, but with big hooters and a woo-woo. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dwayne wouldn't be interested in anything below the TV screen. <laughs> I know what you need. You should fill me in. You sound like a woman in desperate need of an affair. God, no. I have enough trouble with one man, I certainly don't need two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, maybe it's this weather that's got you in this bad mood. You know, global warming's been tough on all of us. A <laughs> what? <laughs> global warming. You know, the greenhouse effect. <laughs> what do you know about global warming? Well, I saw it on the Jerry Springer show. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Springer had a show on global warming. <laughs> Actually, it was about how global warming's causing more people to get sex change operations. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think that's my problem. <laughs> my problem is this refrigerator. It is such a beautiful refrigerator. Lord, everybody was so jealous when you won it in that raffle. Just look at it. Sitting out here on the front porch like a bunch of white trash lives here. You know, it was so big we couldn't even get it through the front door, let alone fit in the kitchen. Yeah, it's not so bad out here, though. Wayne built that nice little roof over it. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't fit. It's too nice for us or something. Well, I, for one, think we have got it pretty good. Yeah, well, if something better came along, we wouldn't notice. Too busy sitting out on this front porch. What are we supposed to do about that? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't be in such a nasty mood now, would I? Why don't you and I go away for a weekend? Just us girls, no husbands, no job, nothing. Betsy, I need more than a weekend. I need someone to tell me why I'm here. Someone to give me a sign that says, okay, you in high tower. Here's your answer. Now go to it. And lately every night I've been praying about it. Asking God for some kind of message, but he don't seem to be talking back lately. You've just got to find what makes you happy. <clears throat> You can honestly say that this life makes you happy. Well, no, not all of it. My husband's a loser, but he brings home a paycheck. He don't drink, don't gamble, don't fool around, as far as I can tell. It's just being satisfied, that ain't being happy. I'm happy. You're not happy. I'm happy. I said I was happy. I'm happy. But you're not <laughs> really happy. I'm happy. I'm downright overjoyed. Can we change the subject? <laughs> okay. Maybe it'll cool off once the sun goes down. I hope so. 